Hello everyone and welcome to our Bible study, our daily Bible study. And uh, I pray and I believe everyone is well by the grace of our, our God, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And abinabati ko po kayong lahat at ng isang magandang umaga. At uh, patuloy po kayong pagpalain ng ating Diyos araw-araw na ating uh, pagkakaroon ng ganitong virtual gathering. We praise God, we thanks God for this ministry, for this um, message day by day. Ayun, no? Ayan, uh, today, let's go to our purpose today that we do, we do not want to waste our time. Uh, today is we're going to receive the message the message from God Amen Amen. let us pray then uh, Heavenly Father we thank you Lord for this time we thank you Lord for this moment we thank you Lord for this day Lord God that you given us Lord God the opportunity to gather once again through this virtual gathering in the YouTube uh, platform but God, we live up to you this ministry. We live up to you, everyone, Lord God, in this gathering, Lord, that you may touch their heart, that you may comfort them, that you may give, Lord God, your spirit of revelation, your spirit of of understanding, your spirit of of uh, of, of goodness, Lord God. So we can able, Lord, to, 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 to receive today your message. As we do this uh, gathering, we want to declare in our mouth, in our life, that you are our God, that you are a great God in this life. We want to declare in this mouth that you are our great pro, uh, provider, our our great God, that that gave uh, the things that we need, Lord God, not just the physical and material things that we need in this life, but the most the the the, the great things of of spiritual matters, Lord God. Lord, continue to work in this life. Continue, Lord, to, to work to every one of us, Lord God. For we have a spirit of hunger, Lord God, to know you, to, to develop our relationship to you, Lord God. That's why we, uh, we have this gathering, Lord God, for you uh, to, uh, to give our worship to you, Lord God. Because you deserve it, Lord God. You deserve glory. You deserve honor. You deserve highest praise. You deserve worship. In your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Ayan, mega love shout out sa inyong lahat. Uh, today, ang uh, ating pong uh, topic, uh, we are going to, to take this message from God that how can we turn all our worries and problems over to God? Nowadays, or lahat tayo, we encountered problem in this life. We encountered trouble. We encountered worry day by day or from time to time. So let us know what God promised from the Bible. It is sometimes a disconcerting truth. For many of us, not just only a Christian, but every one of us, every human, that even though we belong to God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we still seem to experience the same problems that plug us before we were saved. Nung hindi pa tayo nakikilala natin ng lubos ang Panginoong Isus, ay madalas tayo ay yung nakakaranas ng mga problema. At hindi na bago yun 
noong nakasama na natin at nakilala natin ng lubusan o tinanggap natin ang Panginoong Isus sa ating puso bilang Diyos at sariling tagapagligtas. Nandoon pa rin ang problema, nandoon pa rin yung worry, nandoon pa rin yung, yung mga bagay na uh, na-experience natin when we were not yet saved. We often become discouraged and bogged down in life's cares. The fact that both of Old and New Testament address this problem the same way indicates that God knows problem and worries are inevitable in this life. Sa kabila ng ating uh, pagbabasa ng Biblia at mga salita ng Diyos, mula sa bagong tipan at lumang tipan, ay nananatili na nakakaranas pa rin tayo ng uh, mga problema, ng mga dalahin sa buhay, ng mga kabigatan. Lahat ng tao ay nakakaranas ng ganitong uri ng uh, dalahin sa ating buhay. Problema, worries, lahat tayo. We encountered. Wala ditong uh, makapagsasabi na hindi ako naka-encounter ng mga mabigat na dalahin, ng mga kasakitan, ng mga problema, ng mga inaalala sa buhay. Lahat tayo ay ganun. Because we are living in this fallen world. And uh, we are thankful as a Christian dahil nakilala natin ang Panginoong Isus nakilala tinanggap natin sa ating mga puso ang ating Diyos at sariling tagapaglitat. He has big, given us the same solution. He gave, the Lord Jesus gave in both Psalm and Peter's letter. Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let, uh, let the righteous fall according to Psalm 55.22. And cast all our anxiety on his, on him, because he cares for you. This is First Peter, five, seven. Ang kaibahan na noong hindi pa tayo na matatawag na Christian, because hindi pa natin lubos na kilala ang Panginoong Isus, or hindi natin natanggap sa ating puso at sa ating buhay ang Panginoong Isus bilang sariling tagapagligtas. Uh, ngayon, mas mayroon tayong confident uh, how to deal with this situation. Unlike the, the previous time nung hindi pa tayo nakikilala, hindi pa natin nakikilala ang, ang purpose ng buhay natin, ang purpose ng Panginoon sa buhay na ito. Um, the wisdom of God nung wala pa tayo noon ay talaga namang Uh, mabigat na mabigat sa atin. Contained within these two verses that we mentioned from Psalm 55.22 and 1 Peter 5.7, there are several amazing truths. God will sustain us. God will sustain us. He will never let us fall. Hindi niya tayo papayagang lubusang uh, mahulog and He cares for us simula nung tanggapin natin ang Panginoong Jesus bilang sariling tagapagligtas nandoon na siya palagi sa buhay natin, sa isip natin sa puso natin palagi at uh, lahat anuman ang mangyari sa atin ay ang Diyos, ang Panginoong Jesus ay nandoon lagi at alam niya ang lahat ng nangyayari. Taken one at a time, we see first that God declares both His ability and His willingness to be our strength and support, Men mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. He is able, God is able, and best of all, willing, to take everything that threatens to overwhelm us and use it for our benefits. He has promised to work all things together. 
for the good and those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Even at times when we doubt him, he is still working for our good and his glory. And he has also promised that he will allow no trial to be a great or cannot be bear it in the power of Christ. And that he will provide means of escape according to 1 Corinthians 10.13. By this, he means that he will not let us fall, as he promised in Psalm 55:22. Hindi tayo papayaga, bagamat dumadaan tayo sa mga ganong kabigatan, problema, dalahin sa buhay, mga isipin, worries, hindi tayo papayaga ng Diyos na mahulog doon. Dahil kasama natin siya. This life, when we accept the Lord Jesus as a Savior and Lord, this is about God na. Po, hindi na ito buhay natin. This is about the life of God. So kung dumadaan tayo dahil tayo nandito sa, sa naka, nanatili tayo, nakatira dito sa mundong ito, the fallen world, of course we continue to experience those way, those things. At lagi natin from time to time ay, ay mararanasan ng mga ganong bagay habang nandito pa tayo. Because this life is not um, permanently living in this earth. We eventually going to eternity. At doon ang ating eternal life. Yun ang tunay na buhay natin. Hindi ito. Hindi itong nakikita natin dito sa mundo. Amen. The third statement, He cares for you, gave us the motivation behind His other promises. Our God is not cold or unfeeling or caprious. Rather, He is our loving Heavenly Father, whose heart is tender to, toward His children. The Lord Jesus reminds us that just as an earthly father would not deny His children, bread so god has promised to give us good gift good gift when we ask him in matthew 7 11. matthew 7 11 says if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven Give good things to those who ask Him. So, when we ask the good things to God, then God provides us. In the spirit of asking for good things, first we must pray and tell to the Lord that we hear what He's saying in John 16.33. What is John 16.33? I have said these things to you, that in you may, may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Sabi ng Panginoong Isus, uh, Of course, kayo yung makakaranas dyan sa mundo ng iba't ibang uri ng kabigatan, ng mga pasakit na mga dalahin, mga problema, mga worries. Subalit, uh, you have to be take your heart dahil napagtagumpayan ko ang mundo. Ayun, uh, ang sinasabi ng Diyos, napagdaanan ko yan. Kaya nag, uh, pinakita ko sa inyo, kaya pumunta ako dyan sa lupa. Pinakita ko sa inyo kung paano magkaroon or mamuhay dyan sa mundo na nanaayon sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Where Jesus says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Then we should ask the Lord, 
to show us how He has overcome our problems, our worries, our anger, or our fears, and our guilt. The Lord reveals to us through His Word in the Bible, the Bible, that we can be of good cheer that we can. Ano ba yung mga tinuro sa atin ng Diyos? Para mapagtagumpayan natin ang mga bagay na dinadala natin, ang mga kabigatan, ang mga problema, ang mga pasakit na ito sa buhay habang nandito tayo sa mundo. Sabi niya makakaranas kayo nito. Pero, take heart. I have overcome the world. Napagtagumpayan ko yan. So, ano ba yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin? Itinuturo sa atin. Number one, rejoice in our problems. Rejoice. Because God will use them to our benefits. God will use them to our benefit. Yung lahat ng problema, yung lahat ng pasakit natin sa buhay, lahat yun ay uh, we will benefit. Lahat yun ay dagdag sa ating buhay para tayo matuto at ay para tayo magkaroon ng ng um, mas malawak na pagkilala sa Diyos. Knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character bring hope according to Romans 5, 3 and 4. And of course, we uh, we see our worries as an opportunity to practice according to Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him. He shall direct your path. Sabi ng Proverbs, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. So lahat ng na kung dumadaan tayo sa mga problema ay ipagkatiwala natin sa Diyos. Lahat yun. And lean not your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge Him and shall direct your path. So number three, counteract our anger by obeying according to Ephesians 4.2. Ephesians 4, 4.32 says, And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen? So number three, number three when we experience those uh, worries, those problems, this is the, um, the advice from the Bible. Deal with any sinful feelings by believing and acting upon the truth of First John 1 John 1.9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All of our problem can overcome through simple faith in God's Word. God is bigger than all our worries and problems. God put together those worries, those problems to us and we must realize that if we are to have any victory in our lives everyone suffers with us difficulties because the bible teaches that temptation is common to mankind according to first corinthians 10 13 we must not let satan deceive us into thinking that all our problems are our fault all our worries will come true. All our anger condemns us. Or that all our guilt is from God. If we do sin and confess, God forgives and cleanses us. We need not feel ashamed, but rather take God for His word, and He does forgive the cleanse. None of our sins are so heavy that God cannot lift. Uh, 
lahat ng ating mga nagagawang kasalanan sa Diyos o na, na, nalalabag doon sa mga paanuntunan ng Diyos ay kailangan nating eh, ihingi or i-confess, ihingi ng tawad uh, at lahat ng ito dahil ito ang kalooban ng Diyos at lahat ng ito laging oper, open ang Diyos na mag bigay sa atin ng paglilinis at pagpapatawad. In reality, feelings come from our thoughts. So, uh, even though we can't change how we feel, we can change how we think. And this is what God wants us to do. For example, in Philippians 2.5, Christians are told, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In Philippians 4.8, Christians are told to think on things that are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, and good report, and praiseworthy. In Colossians 3.2, we are told to set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Therefore, As we do this, our feelings and guilt diminish. So each day, taking one step at a time, we should pray for God's word to guide us. We should pray as kagaya ng ginagawa natin. We are praying, Lord, give us uh, guidance. So when we ask guidance to the Lord, He reveals to us through His word through the bible that's uh, that's why we do this bible study every morning we have to 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 take the leading the guidance of god through his word through this bible study that's why we choose to to do this ministry early as early as possible dahil doon po nag-uumpisa yung gabay natin sa buhay bilang isang uh, nananampalataya sa Diyos. Kailangan natin yung Bible study, kailangan natin yung uh, relasyon natin sa Diyos, kailangan natin ang manalangin. Prayer is the foundation. So we have to pray. The secret to giving things over to Christ is really no secret at all. It's a simple asking Jesus to take our burden of original sin and be our Savior. Look at John 3.16. As well as submitting to Jesus as our Lord in the day-by-day living. Acknowledging the Lord Jesus, acknowledging God every day, is the guidance of this life. So, dumaraan man tayo sa mga mabigat na pagsubok, ng mga dalahin, mga isipin sa buhay, pero pagkasama natin ang Diyos, pag iniisip natin na ang Diyos ay nandyan sa atin, na ang Diyos ang bahala sa mga bagay na ito, na ang Diyos ay may layunin kung bakit tayo dumadaan sa ganito, then this is a benefits of comforts from God na alam natin na tayo ang magbibinipisyo doon sa mga bagay na yon na, na hinaharap natin sa ating mga buhay. Amen? Ayan. Uh, patuloy tayo na manalangin at manalig tayo. Kung mayroon man tayong pinagdadaanan na mabibigat na problema, God is with you. God is giving you an opportunity to come to Him and to acknowledge Him, to acknowledge the power of God in, in our lives. This is the some point of purpose, why we experience, why we encounter those uh, worries, those problems. Amen? Ayan. Let us pray. Uh, Amin Diyos sa langit, we thank you Lord for this wonderful revelation that you are always there for us. Thank you Lord for everything. Thank you for, for your message today, Lord God, that we are truly comforted by these things that 
um, uh, in reality we experience from time to time those things but uh, we should take our heart because you in your words say it says that you overcome the world and as we have confidence that you are in us that you are in our heart and that you are in our life uh, we also uh, over, uh, we, we will also over, overcome these things we thank you lord for everything for you deserve glory you deserve honor you deserve highest praise you deserve worship in your name O lord jesus christ we pray with thanksgiving amen ayan mega love shout out po sa inyong lahat maraming pong salamat sa patuloy na na pag-attend natin sa ganitong gawain at uh, in-encourage ko po kayo na patuloy kayong mag-attend sa mga gawain na kagaya ng, ng ginagawa natin ng Bible study, worship service mahalaga po ito sa buhay natin dahil ito po yung pundasyon ng buhay na ito ito po ang purpose ng buhay natin to praise God at ang buhay natin ay para sa Diyos lamang Ayan, tayo po ay magkita-kitang muli bukas sa ganito uling oras. Ayan, maraming salamat po at God bless you. Eh, uh, patuloy kong um, hinihikayat kayo na, na patuloy na hanapin ang katotohanan, patuloy na hanapin ang presensya ng Diyos mula sa Biblia. Araw-araw po tayong magbasa ng Bible. Ayan, mega love shout out sa inyong lahat. God bless you all and see you tomorrow. Amen.